Hey there, it's Pop Monster. Nice of you to join me for a new episode with our foundation game. I'll get time going. So we see our monastery. We were busy with the monastery at the moment. Because, well, we had a vineyard now and we have grapes being put together. But we also need barrels to actually start working, creating some wine. We also need people in there. So we need to concede more monks to the villa to the um, monastery but we can't at the moment so I guess what we need is to put people in the cooperage it appears that we have two people without a job ah not anymore all right so they're assigned now and hopefully soon we get new workers that we can put into these jobs It'd be great if we can get these two in, but we need the barrels first anyway, so let's get working with that soon. Here we get a lot of grapes. And there should be a warehouse somewhere. Houses all the other stuff. Yeah, right here. Wax candles that can hold barrels. Perhaps we should put the barrels out of here. Turn that also into wax. And the other one also into candles, so we can get a lot of that. And that we can get the other stuff right here in a warehouse. Doesn't really matter if we build a warehouse right here. It is. There's no housing here. Oops, wrong button. Sorry about that. And yeah, let's just get it next to the road. And build it right here so that we can put, uh, well... Barrels right in there, so they don't have to walk that far. I think that's better. Right, we have four new people. Let's hope a few of them are male, so we can concede them. Yeah, there they are. All right, all jobs are filled at the monastery at the moment. So let's put two in the cooperage as well. Everyone has a job again. Ooh, the splendor of your village has unlocked a new tier of unlockables. Let's go check the trade bonus for the kingdom. So that we have. Additional parts for the candle workshop and a monk statue. And now it would appear we have unlocked everything, which is very nice. However, I want to go to the candle shop and see what else we can get. An extension. Remove one tools from the resources needed. Well, that's a good thing. I really like something like that. So, it's just an empty building. You can just place it right next to it. But it removes one of the tools that it needs for building. For making candles. So I really like that. Alright, start the quest or not. I'm going to check my soldiers. One is wounded, but he's not on a mission. They're all in full condition. If I send them to charge, it's difficult. Success probability is extreme. So we will be successful. So let's do so. Let's watch how that goes. Yeah, it needs quite a few tools to actually make the um, candles. And if we can make it sure that it produces less tools, that'll be great. I just wonder if I built like three of these or two of these. We're just going to try that anyway. No, we can just build one. All right. Maximum one per building. It would be great if we could get more of that. But I would be very interested to see if they will add things like this into more buildings. Where you can build extensions... And then it will lower the cost of making goods. Because I think that's a real great add-on. And it also really challenges you to make sure that you uh, make all these extensions to different buildings. And I think that'll be a lot of fun. Do we have the stuff needed for it? Well, we have iron. They can get it. We have tools. They can get it. And they will produce barrels. So all we need now is tools and iron. They're probably out to get it. But there's only two of them, so it would be great if we get a third worker in as well. And they could all just go and walk and get what they need. Now the warehouse is being built, so there we can put in the... Um, what's it called? The uh, barrels. And who? Missing raw materials. Yeah, that's right here, but that's fine. We can put in a lot of grapes there. And they are picking it up, so that's nice. No new people coming in, so... Can't yet put that to the max. We have all the money we can. Ooh, we have a new building to be built. Let's check it out. Which one is it? 
don't see it. Ah, it's here. The monk statue. Well, I guess we should put a monk statue in front of the um, monastery. Oh, let's just build it. It's fine. The bay leaf is ready for a mandate. It doesn't really matter what he's doing as long as he's doing something. That's all I want. Let's put the extra guy in the cooperage and then let's get the other guys into this uh, trans uh, warehouse. I was going to say transport there, but that's not really what it's called. It's a warehouse. Well, we can put one in this transport. Or we can make him into a transporter. That's what I have to say. Well, we appear to be doing well for ourselves. I think we should be thinking about promotions. Should we do any soon? Yeah, I think we can promote a few people. A builder is assigned. We just have to wait until it's done. New military missions available. Well, we are still on a mission, so that's not going to happen. But in, the ca in case they might come back all in good health, we can send them out hopefully pretty quickly. I'll have to get back within the 20-day period, of course, but after that, it'll be fine. Alright, they already f got the grapes. All they need now is the barrels. And these can start to produce barrels right now. Alright, let's see. Barrels. No, I was going to say barrels and barrels. And do they need to pr put the end product in here as well? No. Alright. Well, we are producing barrels, and I do believe they brought them here already, so they can start to produce stuff like that. Your soldiers were victorious, and they're coming back from a mission. That weather is coming soon, alright. Well, we have plenty of food, so I'm not too worried about it. We have one guy wounded, the rest is all in full health and fully trained, so we can send them out soon. Now, I got a question last time, why I don't um, promote all my soldiers all the time. Well, you can't. They have to reach a certain level before you can actually promote them. So, for instance, these, this novice is only level 3, and even if you get the promotion screen, you can't promote him. I believe he has to be like level 5 or 6, and then you can actually promote him. And then, from a novice, he'll turn into a soldier. He has to reach the next level probably level 10, and then you might be able to promote him again. So maybe we can promote a few right now. And of course I want to do that, because you can see the difference. A um, novice level 5 is way stronger than a novice level 0. So it's really worth your while doing that. And if you get to soldiers, they're even stronger. Even a soldier level 5 and a novice level 5 have a difference of 4. So it's really beneficial to, to do that and to make sure that you... Um, promote them, but you have to be able to do that, so we'll check next promotion round if we can actually do promote a few. Let's see, I want to buy some land again. Oh, let's buy this part. To make sure that we uh, spend some of the abundance of coins that we have. So let's buy a few pieces of land. Perfect. Now let's see, because we had only one wounded soldier, so I think we can just go on another mission. This is an easy one, so I'll prepare my troops right away. Let's send out troops. Prepare the troops. Well, we will send them all out. Because they're all fully healed and fully trained. So let's just send out ten soldiers then. It'll be fun. we got two more villagers in. We can make them transporters. But we don't have any free jobs at the moment. Monk is approaching. Alright, so perhaps we should be looking into things that we can do. For instance, we don't have a... Where is it? Common wares workshop yet. So let's get going with that. Produces common wares in exchange for tools, planks, and iron. I think I'm going to place this one here as well. Something like this. Yes. Because we can put it in here, the common wares. Of course, we have to extend the market to put it in. But we are also going to use up a lot of tools and a lot of iron now. So perhaps now is the time to start working on the uh, mines. But I don't think we can actually do that. 
We need more iron. Question is, where is it? Do we have any? So we'll have to scout the area. Here we have quartz and marble and marble. Alright, that's not iron. So let's keep checking the map. Do we? Ooh, I think we have some iron here. Yeah, there it is. Alright. So we need to expand the iron industry. One, two, that's it. Can't do any more. Let's get a crane down here for where they can store some stuff. Let's put up a few of these just because they look fun. Let's put in two or three of these. Just because it makes it looks ni look nice. Alright, let's build it. They need a warehouse right here. To store the stuff. So let's build a warehouse. And I guess... We need... Things like a coal... Maker's hut then. To actually make the coal for this area. Let's build it. And we need an iron smelter because, well, we need to melt that iron down into something we can use. And I guess we also need a toolsmith then, or the blacksmith in this case. That's how it's called. To set everything up. I think we need two coal pits then, so let's do it like this. And hopefully this will work. At least our work builders will be busy for a while. And we can maybe start a new village here again. That will be fun. Let's get gathering hut going here. Two in this case. So we're really going to expand now. Alright, promotions are available. Let's see. Let's first check if we have soldiers to promote. Now here we can see five soldiers promoted for free. So pay to promote all. Now that's very good. They will need goods and luxuries. Well, we'll get them. Alright, these are all people I don't want to promote. Let's see, we have 300 people, 120 serfs, 50 commoners, and 25 citizens. I say, let's do five of these. One, two, three, four, five. Now we can do, I guess, 15 commoners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And... Well, let's do 20 serves if we have the money for it. I don't think so. So we'll do a few serves and save a little bit of money. So this is enough for now. Next time we'll do a few extra serves because right now we're going to have to build a lot of houses to house all these people. A monk is requesting an audience. What do you want? Planks. Well, we'll do it to help the people. That's fine. There they go. They're all happy. Perfect. Well, it worked. We got two extra villagers. The candle workshop is done, so this requires less tools now. Ah, no tools anymore. Oh, that's good. That saves us the tools that it needs. A house is upgrading. Perfect. Don't really see the upgrading house. Where is it? Where is it this one? Oh, it's not upgrading. So apparently there should be a house here upgrading. I simply don't see it. Ah, there it is. Alright, let's upgrade. Now, we need to set a little bit of priority to these houses that are being built. No access to comfort. Yeah, that's because you, your house is being upgraded. You just have to wait a second until it's done. Every now and then people are so impatient. Although I also do believe that we need to extend our village this way and, and build a new city center here as well and a few homes. So perhaps we can set that up already. Alright, let's go with a city center. Alright, there. Let's build a market around it. One. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four. Four. 
different types of food. I believe we had five, but we'll see. One, two, three. We'll do four first, and then we'll see. And we need a few different types of goods, of course. One, two. I'm not going to do luxury goods yet. We'll do that a little bit later. I want to place this one first. Yes. Then let's get a few of these. One, two, three, one, yes. One, one, and one, one. All right, we can build this now. That will look fine. All right, let's see. Our soldiers were victorious, but do we want to keep them there? We have two wounded. Yeah, that's not what we want. Maybe another time. I think I'm going to do two missions at a time now with each five soldiers, and then we'll see if we can really work that and if that works out. But we'll see. Right. Let's wait until this is done. And at the same time, we can probably, yeah, we can already tell them that they can live here in houses and build a house right here. Hopefully, at a point, people will. We should, of course, build a little church, etc. But this will be nice. There's a lot of building to be done. Let's make another builder's workshop. Yeah, we'll build it somewhere here. Let's build it. Put in two people. We only have two people free. That's why I can only put in two. But they can start working here as well. Ah, this big house is done. Yeah, let's prioritize that house. We really need to prioritize the housings to keep people happy. Otherwise, they'll complain about comfort and not be happy and takes too long, they might leave the city. And because we are building quite a few buildings with the iron industry, it might just take too long and people will get pissed. Your soldiers are back. They brought in some money, some food. All right, that's very nice. There's a military mission available. It's a difficult mission. No, our soldiers only serve me right now. Next time we'll go, but now we won't. We want an easy mission and send out five soldiers, and then we want another easy mission and send out five soldiers. Or we can do a difficult one with ten soldiers. Ah, four new villagers came in. Well, let's get an extra building. That should work. Yeah, this is... They are already collecting barrels. These are probably producing wine. Yes, they are. Where do we put the wine? Did I already set that up? Yes. All right. We have plenty of wine now. So we need to change our markets and make sure that we start to sell some wine. We do have four different, different types of food. Oh, probably honey as well. All right. Let's see. I think wine will be a luxury good. So let's put this up here. Little canopy, let's build it. Let's see if, we, if this is the right one, and then we can put it all up in the other villages as well. What did we already do? Well, we don't have any jewelry. And. Yeah. Alright, so it should probably go. I already sell wine, I believe. Doesn't appear that we can. Can't change any of those out for wine. Alright, let's hope the bad weather is going to pass anytime soon. Alright, so I don't see a place where we can sell wine to. We do have wine, but I don't know where to sell it. Can we build something like... I remember... That we have a place in the um shit cold in our mansion. Here should be a place that we can assign. Yeah. Great hall, a treasury bailiff's office or a tax office. That's not what I meant. I think there should be a place right here that we can build that I just forgot the name. Signable, resizable, yeah, that's fine. 
I believe it, it had something where you can eat. This is just named extension C. Which was the tax office, by the way. But I do believe it had a place that you can have, give people a drink, etc. Check this one, because this one is pretty big. Yeah, that's the tax office. That's fine. I want to check this one. Treasury A. Yeah, we can only build one of those. All in extension A. Can we do something special in extension B? No. Tax office can only be a tax office. But I really do remember there was a place where you can get some food going. Right now, I just don't see it. Or do we still have to unlock it? I'm not 100% sure. I hope any of you guys know. Builder's workshop, one keep, stone church. Lord Manor, the stone set, the tavern. Yeah, ah, oh, we need to build a tavern, that's it. Finally got it. I knew it was something like that. I just thought it was part of the um, the buildings, which apparently is not. Church and rustic church. All we need now is to find a tavern. Probably be somewhere here. Brewery, a hop farm, a hunter, cheesemaker. Come on, where's the tavern? We'll do it like this. Ah, there's the tavern. Let's build a tavern. Right, here we have the main village, so if we build it somewhere in between, I think that's a good spot. Alright, people walk right here. So we should build it somewhere here, I guess. We want a stone hall, of course, to start with. Any fun side in particular? Not really. Not going to make it too big. Alright, let's put in a door, so people can get in. Ooh, these are cool extensions. We'll do it like that. Sorry about that, I had to cough. Alright, let's just start small with this. We have a door, we have everything we need, I guess. I guess we need a second door as well, so people can get in. Shed, stables, yeah, this is all optional. But at least then, if we get this in, we have it. So, and then we can hopefully start to sell some stuff. Kitchen, ooh, we need a kitchen, of course. We can put the kitchen in the back, I think. Yeah, let's just put the kitchen in the back. Anything else? Skylight. Well, I'm going to build another one soon as well, because I think we probably need two. But with this tavern, we can probably sell the wine and cook some boar if we get hunters, etc. Alright, there's a mission. This is an easy one, and the other one is a difficult one. Is everyone healed again? Just one wounded. Alright, well, we'll do the easy one, and we'll send out all the, um, all the good guys. Let the one that needs to heal just heal, and let's just send these out and see if we can get any nice things. We're making a whole lot of money again, so no worries there. Happiness is good. We do have quite a bit of unemployment, but that'll change soon as some of these parts will get ready. So that's also nothing to worry about. Ooh, we can already get miners, etc. So It's already working. So we get these miners in. And I think one of the market stalls here is done. The extra one that we built. But yeah, no wine to be sold there. Can sell herbs. Not sure if we have any already, but I don't think so. So probably have to build somewhere something here to get herbs. Herb garden. Alright. Well, we'll build that later. And then we can also sell the herbs. 
Well, we do produce a lot of wine now. We completely filled up with wine, so that's not a thing. So I guess what we mostly need now... Oh, there goes our soldiers, by the way. Pretty nice. Have a good quest, guys. Yeah, we are pretty busy building right here now. So this is good. Crane is done. They can already bring in the iron. That looks good. Time to build a church. Of course, we're going to build a little stone church here. Not too big, not too fancy. Just enough to do the trick. Something like that here. We'll make it a little bit bigger, of course. Put in a nice tower. Or should we do the round tower? That also looks nice. We can make it pretty big. Yeah, that looks cool. Nice round tower. Put a cross on top. A sculpture on the back. It's a door, of course. So let's put in a door to the side. Mandatory parts are missing. Well, we have a tower. No, it still says we missed the bell tower. Alright, well, we'll put the bell tower right next to it, then on the side. So we have a different bell tower and a nice round tower. Alright, let's build it. There's the church for this area. Let's make sure enough people can live here. And everyone should be happy. We are at least very busy building everything. The common wares workshop is built. Ooh, nice. Multiplies production by two. Well, that's a thing we want. So let's build it. Waiting for a builder. Well, we can already put, put two people in there. Do we have everything? I think we have everything. So we can really start to produce common wares. And then later... Oops, yeah, there's no common wares that we can select, so this is it. Now, I do believe they have candles here. I don't see them selling candles here lately. Oh, yeah, they are now. All right. So that's good. We need a... um. Well, we need to check first. The one that sells clothing also sells the common wares. So that's this one, a normal goods stall. So we'll put it in here. And once that's done, we can start selling common wares that we are producing now. Missing raw materials. Promotions available. Well, all we need to do is promote a few of the uh, normal people. And, of course, two soldiers. So let's do that. Oh, we can only do one. All right. That's fine. Now, let's do 24 of these, I guess. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, a few of them are pissed. Guess they need some stuff. Let's do ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. That's enough promotions for now. An envoy is requesting an audience. What do you want? Berries during bad weather. I don't think so. We'll offer you some more challenging missions from now on. All right, that's fine. I don't mind. Well is all good. So a few people are pissed probably because they don't have a house. Especially now that we did promotions a few will get a little bit pissed because they don't have a house. So let's check the map, see if we can spot yeah, here's a new house coming up. Here is a new house coming up. Let's just make sure we prioritize those because we want those houses to be done. Ooh, charcoal hut is built. Nicely done. Let's put people in there so everyone has a job that keeps them happy as well. Yep, they're building the tavern. Although, we can take their time with that. I don't really mind if it takes a little bit longer before it's done. Building a house here as well. Let's prioritize it. That's really a good thing with all the housing, to keep prioritizing them until they're all done. Really want people to be happy because they have a house. Alright, berries is dropping a bit, but that's because of the bad weather. Fish is good, bread looks good, cheese looks good, clothing is good, common wares we don't have yet, but we'll have soon. 
everything else looks just fine. We have good stuff in storage. So I'm not worried about that at all. Things look great. And they are still building this part. Alright, we went troops were victorious. But how many did get wounded? Just one. Only oh, no, two. Alright, well, let's just take a gamble. We want to keep on fighting and get stronger. Get good prices for all the work that we put in. Alright, let's prioritize this one as well. Because with the warehouse we can make sure that we can really get enough stuff. Market build. Perfect. Alright. We don't have anyone free yet. But as soon as we have, we can put someone in to sell common wares. Oh, people are getting more happy again. Most of them are pissed over comfort because they don't have a house. Nothing to worry about there. We do have plenty of builders. No access to comfort. I know. Because dude, the house isn't done, but I prioritized it. So it should be done fairly quickly. Let's hope it will be. This one's been built as well. Some of these houses can be built pretty quickly, so... I really like the fact that all the areas are really starting to link together. So from here, this is the busy part, of course. But from here, you see your houses, some open spaces. But all housing, housing, housing and workshops, etc. So this is really becoming one big town. With, of course, a few sort of town centers, but... The whole idea that I wanted to get is what we're getting now. Like one big town but everything in between and close by and starting to feel really medieval to me. I like it. If you have any thoughts or comments on that, please leave them in the comment section. I'm very curious to know what you people think about the town. But it's also been over half an hour, so we're going to end this episode right here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up if you haven't done so. Please subscribe to my channel. And of course, I hope to see you in another video. While I quickly do this to make sure that we get what we need. Well, this is really the end. Bye-bye.